Happy New Year, YouTube. How's everyone doing? Um, I really haven't made a video in a, like a real, real video in a really, 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 really long time because I have been going through so much stuff, um, recovering, um, changing jobs, a lot of personal stuff, and a lot of other things that, you know, everyday things, but the purpose of this video is to talk about my products that I am going to be using, that I've tried, that I reverted back to, etc., etc. As you guys can see, my hair is straight. Um, I got it straightened for twenty dollars at um, for a shampoo, condition, and straighten for twenty some dollars at um, Mario Tricosi University. Um, you know, Mario Tricosi is a day spa here in Chicago. I'm not sure if they have them in other states, but they have a university here in Bridgeview, and they you know do hair and stuff. And so I went to get my hair straightened because my hair is really tangled. And I've been on vacation for like two or three weeks and I've been really lazy. So I paid a little bit more than 20. It was like maybe 30 because I got a, something called a chem shot, which is a um, conditioner treatment. It's not no chemicals or anything. They just call it that for some reason. Yes, that was my daughter running in her room real quick. But they did a good job. When I first got it done, it was really silky. But my scalp started to itch because it's really, really cold here. So I added some of the Carol's Daughter's Mimosa Hair Honey to my scalp and to my ends. And now it's like, I want to say it's flat. It's not bouncy like it was anymore. So I'm not sure why it, um, anytime I add any type of oil to my hair, um, it does that, which is kind of irritating because I really, really, really don't like it. Sorry, I have a slight glare. From the bathroom light shut the bathroom door i have a slight glare so but the um instructor there she said that i needed to get my ends cut and because i have very bad split ends which is another reason i wanted to get my hair straightened i didn't get it cut this time but i really need to get it cut because um she said i need to get at least this much cut off so it will stop splitting up but like my hair is the thickest like right here so I probably need to get like more than an inch cut off. But people get a little scissor happy when they do it. So I really don't want to do it. Um, let me turn around so you can see my length of my hair. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me hold my head straight. But that's the length of my hair. For some reason it's longer. Oh, yeah, it's longer in the back than it is in the front. But. That's going to change. Okay, let me get to the products because three minutes has passed already. First things first. Um, I reverted back to some tried, true products that I should have never stopped using. Um, I went back to my olive oil um, replenishing conditioner by Organic Root Stimulant. I don't, why, don't know why I ever stopped using this because this is a great deep conditioner. Um, so I went back to it and voila, I had immediate results. Another thing I went back to and it's not that I stopped using I just didn't have the money for it. So, let me see. I just didn't have the money for it. So, which is my Karen's Body Beautiful. And I think I got three of these. And I believe I got one or two of these. I don't think you need it. Sorry. Um, and one butter love. And I think I got something else, I'm not sure. For like seventy something dollars. So it's worth the money if you have it. So I buy it maybe once or twice a year because I really can't afford to spend that on such little products. But I got my sweet ambrosia, which is used to be the hair milk. Um, it's a hair conditioner. And I got it in vanilla latte and oatmeal honey. Honey oatmeal. My two favorite scents in the whole wide world. Okay. Also, I went back to my twisting cream because I tried different twisting creams. They don't work for me. So, I um, went back to Darcy's Botanicals. To my Madagascar Vanilla Styling Cream. And I did a video on this once before. It is the bomb. See, that's the way it looks on the inside. And... It smells good, too. I have one open someplace that I've used already, but this is the only thing that really works to my hair that keeps it moisturized and 
and silky along with the caramel milk. I combine them together or I twist with the butter love. All those things keep my twist nice and non-frizzy. Um, they also have a new twisting cream called Avocado and Honey. Um, it's more like a lotion. Let me see. I don't know if you can see that, but it's more like a lotion. Um, it, my hair was silky with this. It, it did a good job, but with, within a few days it was frizzy. So I'm going to use the rest of this, but for my particular hair, I don't think I'll be able to reuse it. Um, well, you guys see my hair natural. Um, also, Carol's daughter, I got her a macadamia nut, uh, heat protection, fresh control, and flawless shine kit. And it comes with some macadamia nut pomade, um, heat styling hairspray, um, heat setting foam, and this little thing is some serum that I use for my ends. Um, I've been using this to straighten my hair, and my daughter's hair. Um, it doesn't add shine because I, maybe I'm just not using it right, but it protects it from the heat, which is great. Um, another Carol's Daughter product that I love, that I need to invest in, this is only $25, is Olive Oil Infusion Kit and Softening and Detangling at Home Hair Treatment. Okay, you know guys know I did a video on Carol's Daughter a while ago about her, um, her other deconditions. This is the bomb, okay? And... It talks about transitioning, stretching, and how to use it, um, et cetera, et cetera. And it comes with the Kemet Amen hair oil and Kemet Amen hair smoothie, yeah, the hair smoothies. I love this stuff. And what it does, it says, um, what was it I reading? It says, you know, if my hair is natural, can I still use olive oil? oil infusion. It says, yes, olive oil infusion works wonders on natural hair. It deeply softs and helps helps reveal gorgeous, healthy looking curls. She wasn't lying. I thought, you know, most people say that stuff because it's their friend. She was not lying. This left my hair super soft and I had great curl definition. And normally with my curl definition, I always have to put product in my hair and I hate doing that. I'm so jealous of my cousins who just walk out the house after washing their hair and it's just pretty and it just curls up and they have to put nothing in it. Me, I had to put product in my hair. Um, before this came to Chicago, it wasn't in any of the Chicago Target stores, but I found this in Omaha. Uh, Shea Moisture, Organic Coconut and Hibiscus, Curling Souffle, Bogave Nectar and Flaxseed Oil for Thick Curly Hair. I like this a lot. It left my hair soft. However, I don't know. Well, I know the reason why I can't use this with a oil product because I left my hair slimy. And I know the oil product I used was really bad. So now I know how to use it. So I won't do it again. But $10. Go and try it. Okay, back to Carol's daughter again. Um, the hair balm, the liquid pomade. I actually like this a lot for my puffs. And this, my stupid, but this is Lisa's hair elixir. I was putting this crap on my hair all the time. I shouldn't have been doing that at all. No, 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 no. So, um, I use this as a hot oil treatment now, or a pre-poo. I was putting it on after the fact, and I had no business doing that like a nitwit. I, I was like, let me get some of this oil in my hair. No, you can't do that with this stuff because you will have, um, the So Glow commercial on your couch, which is exactly what I had. And I only put like a little dry, like a little, a little, a little in the palm and rub it in. Nah, you would straight up have the Jerry Curl spot in your seats. So, I'm not sure. It's like about 10 minutes now since I've been talking. So, I'm going to have to do a part two of my videos. Um... I got a lot more products to talk about, a couple other things. So, this may be a two to three part series. But it's basically just talking about products, um, stuff I've been encountering, um, different beauty supplies, gadgets, etc. So, stay tuned for part two.